Hey guys, welcome to another Mind Thrive Thursdays. It's Orit here, and today we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of being self-employed. Being on, uh, having been on both sides of the coin, nine to five job versus being full-time self-employed now, I can tell you 100% that it is like being on a roller coaster. Uh, it's not much different from that. When you're going up, it's awesome. You're excited. You can't wait. And then you reach the top and you just get this really, really bad feeling in your stomach. Like this, this nervous anxiety feeling like, you know, something bad is really about to happen. Boom. You're going to drop. You're going to fall. And those things, they just come in waves, you know? There's great times, there's awesome times, and then there's really bad times. That's why I feel like being self-employed, you have really high highs and really low lows. And it all comes down to your values and what you are wanting out of life most and in order to find out whether this is the right path for you. In a sense, I wanted to create this video also for people who are existingly self-employed right now because to let other others know that, you know, this is stuff that we're going through. It's okay. It's normal. It's all part of the process. So let's start with the pros, the obvious ones, right? You are your own boss. No one can tell you what to do. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. You set the time you wake up. You set the time you take a break. You set the time for everything. You have to structure your day. And that type of freedom is exhilarating because you're completely in control. You are in the driver's seat. You are driving your life. And that freedom is not only, you know, what's going on in your day. It's also financial freedom. As a self-employed person, you have no um, there's no ceiling to how much money you earn. All of the money that you earn is based on your actions. So it's it's really the sky is the limit. One of the pros to being self-employed that might not be as intuitive is but you feel it in a huge sense when you are self-employed is that you have the time to spend with the people that you love most. Uh, you know, I had family come in from overseas and this year, actually, this summer, and I didn't have to put any vacation request out to anybody. I didn't have to request time off. My friend, uh, Jewel's sister, got married in Bermuda. We didn't have to put any sort of request to take vacation time off or to worry about, oh, I can only take one week here, so I should save another week for later on in the year because I know I'll want to take that time off later on for December or something like that. So, you know, you don't have anything like that. My sister comes to visit every summer. I can spend every single day with her. Obviously, I make sure to get my work done, but I can spend the time with her and just like work in the mornings or in the evenings on my laptop. Um, it's awesome. And it's something, it's a huge thing uh, that you really, really appreciate and are grateful for when you're self-employed. Another thing is that you are creating something for yourself. And that is a huge pro because it is so empowering to know that you are in control of what goes on. You feel like you get to choose what you work on and you get to choose how your days are designed. So whereas in a nine to five job, you know, if you're employed, you may not like certain things or the entire thing of your workday and you have to do that every single day. So the feeling of happiness that you get when you are self-employed is undescribable. And again, I speak for myself, obviously, but I, I absolutely love that I get to work on things that I enjoy and it's exhilarating knowing that I'm creating this from scratch, from my mind, from the skills that I know, from everything, and other people are reaping in the benefits and enjoying it, and I'm putting that reward out into the universe for other people to benefit from. 
It's totally gratifying. And, and you know, I never really felt this, this type of happiness and joy when I was working a nine to five job, when I was employed. Again, I'm not saying everybody who's employed a working nine to five job will feel like crap. No, this is just from my experience. Um, it's really exciting for me to be working on the things that I love and it's empowering as well, knowing that I'm in control. Now, let's take it to the cons. You'll notice everything that I've named as pros are kind of the cons too at the same time. So that freedom, that sense of freedom can also be on the flip side, a negative thing because you don't have anyone telling you what to do. So you need to structure your day. If you are working on the wrong things, if you're structuring it incorrectly, or if you get lazy and you just, there are certain days where you don't feel like working, so you don't because no one's telling you, no one's holding you accountable but yourself. Um, so that could really affect, that could really, you know, show up poorly because, you know, you won't be getting the results that you want in your business. Um, so that freedom can also be detrimental. It's so, and because of that, it is so easy to fall off track. It is so easy to fall off track um, because, like I said, there are no consequences to your actions except those that you place upon yourself. So if you're not holding yourself accountable to not getting that task done on time, no one's there to yell at you, you know? It's just that, you know, it might not show up as a good thing in your business later on in the long term, but, you know... It can feel like it's okay. I didn't get that done today, um, so I can get it done tomorrow. So that lack of structure can really make it easy to be counterproductive. Uh, another thing, we were talking about no ceiling income as a pro. Well, at the same time, you know, the con to an entrepreneur, I'm sure you've heard, is that it takes a lot of time and effort to produce the income that you do want in your business. Uh, it's It's... You know, you're going to be, you're going to be most likely struggling quite a bit in the beginning. Um, maybe not just in the beginning, but for years, uh, because you're figuring it all out. You're figuring out the structure that you're supposed to put in place so that you can reap those rewards and, um, and multiply that progress that you've created. And because of that, you know, you don't have a fixed income as well. You don't have someone paying you every single month, whether you slacked off or not, nobody's going to know. You don't have that reoccurring check coming in every single month like an employee paycheck. Uh, it's all up to you. You create your income. So if you don't make that sale, you can't go buy groceries, right? Like it's it's hugely uh, tied to what you produce in that month. And another con that, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs or self-employed people might not share is that it, it can get quite lonely um, because the majority of your friends and the people that you know, your family um, are in employed positions it can get quite lonely, like people not really understanding what you're doing, uh, maybe even discouraging you. And, um, and you know, in a, in a nine to five job, you have coworkers that you naturally make friends with and you can go out on uh, after work, have drinks, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just you if you're self-employed um, or you might be starting with a team. Uh, I We are fortunate enough to have each other, Jewel and I, as partners in the business, so we do we work on the business together. Um, but, you know, if you run into a problem and no one really gets what you're doing around you in your inner circle, it's tough. You know, you have to, you have to actively search for those solutions yourself by reaching out to, um, reaching out to resources online or asking people um, outside of that circle, that, which can get kind of uncomfortable. And you, and you will run into problems as a self-employed entrepreneur. There will be a ton of problems. Uh, and in, as an employee in the workplace, you know, if you have a problem, you go tell your boss, boom, it's fixed most of the time. Um, but 
It's up to you to fix it yourself when you are self-employed. Like I said, actively finding solutions and there's really no one else to fix that problem but you. So it's funny here if you've noticed that the pros are, and the cons are kind of like the flip sides of each other, which kind of tell you that the upsides to what we value most about being an entrepreneur or self-employed are kind of the same things that we fear in a sense. Being self-employed is like a blank canvas, completely blank, and it is up to you to paint either a positive or negative picture. And it's not easy, guys. It's totally not easy. Um, you will cry. You will get really angry sometimes. Um, you will feel totally overwhelmed, stressed, demotivated, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, really low lows, right? But on the flip side, like I mentioned before, um, you can really experience a sense of just complete happiness, joy, fulfillment, and gratitude. When I was going to school and working a nine to five job, being an employee, all that stuff, I never really, like, I never really said to myself, thank you so much for this. I am so grateful for this. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm so excited. I never ever said anything like that to myself, but being self-employed, going through, you know, all of the um, accomplishments that we've made, you get to experience that alongside the, the lows as well. And I wouldn't have it any other way because bottom line, guys, you know, when you wake up and you're excited to start the day and work on what you love doing most, that makes sense. That's a life I want to live. I don't want to live a life where I wake up and I am dragging, literally dragging myself out of bed, feeling so unmotivated and like depressed that I have to go do something that I don't want to do. It's totally unbearable. So guys, those are the pros and cons and my additional observations and thoughts of being self-employed through my eyes and uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you found this helpful or insightful at all, please leave me a comment down below this video and let me know, or just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well. I really appreciate you guys being here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Back, back, back from the dead.